In our series, Home of the Brave, we celebrate veterans and the people who support our veteran communities across the country. This morning, we recognize one program helping to guide our nation's women veterans that are working on farms. It's called Veteran Women for the Land and provides resources like education and supplies. We want to welcome in Program Director Gabrielle Resch McNally. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. So tell us a little bit more about the specific resources that you are providing to these women, please. Yeah, well, we run a national program, but we've launched a Veteran Women for the Land program within the Pacific Northwest. And we are really about connecting women with one another. So a big part of our programming is just catapulting women together to learn from each other in what we call learning circles. Uh, and we connect women to other veterans, other farmers, and then resource providers so that they can access resources for their farm, whether that's technical assistance, grants or other funding that will help them kind of either launch or continue to support their operations. So 43% of American farmland is now farmed or co-farmed by women, according to the uh, Food and Agriculture Organization, but they still face challenges and barriers to entry. What are those and how do you overcome them? Yeah, it's a wonderful question. One of the things we know women face is just they don't have access to the same networks and community than their male counterparts. So they're not going to the same coffee shop, they're not going into the same technical service provider offices, or they're not accessing USDA loans or grants at the same rate of their male counterparts. So we're really interested in kind of helping dismantle those barriers. But women veterans in particular face unique challenges. Some of them have experienced trauma associated with their military service, and they may be um, less apt to go out and seek veteran resources specifically. So we know women farmers and landowners are underserved, but we also know that women veteran um, and veteran women who want to be involved in agriculture are even more underserved. Well, you have said that, that uh, farming is healing, and that's kind of what you're talking about, right? That some of the trauma they've experienced. So how is farming healing to these women? Yeah, wonderful. So what we found is that agriculture is a motivation for many women veterans to both find a career, reconnect the land, but an overarching theme that we found through research that we did was that women veterans in particular want to heal not just themselves from trauma they may have experienced or injured throughout their life experiences, but they want to connect with other veterans. There are some other really amazing veteran programs that are focused specifically on sort of healing trauma and connecting one another, but there aren't many of those resources specifically connected to women. So what our program is trying to do is both kind of help support women who are interested and motivated to be involved in agriculture for many different reasons, including that desire for healing, healing their community, feeding their community, feeding their families. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.